Hi everyone, welcome to my next video review. This is on the Daron Changer, the Bandai Artisan version. I mainly got it because I was always curious how the Daron Changer worked. It always looked very unique from the standard uh, wrist uh, changers. Um, and I thought it would be cool to have for completion purposes. Um, and also, who knows, in like 3-4 years, or 5, who knows how long, the price could skyrocket like the Bandai versions uh, from the 90s, I mean. Um, so let's get started here. So I have the accessories right next to the box, and I'll show you guys the box. I'm a huge fan of Japanese box art because they go into so much detailing. So in the front here, we have a nice picture of the Doran Changer. And um, we have the 5 Kaku Ranger on the side there. On the top, we have the logo of um, Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger that shows the different symbols. And then on the side right here, you have the 5 Kaku Ranger on the top. You have their logo, and it shows like the 5 coins in the Doran Changer. And finally, on the back here, you have a nice big picture of the Doran Changer. Right here is like a little 3D sticker, so it's pretty cool. And on the bottom and the side here, it really, really doesn't have much. There's some random writing there. So what you get with this is you get uh, the Ranger's five coins. You get this um, Doran change, that's what it looks like. It's really cool, I'm really loving the chrome here. And... Um, this is the back of the Duran changer. And you have this also this red strap right here. So you can hang it somewhere. You can even if you want to take it with you. So you get three buttons on the Kaka Ranger on the Daron Changer. You have two buttons here. One here to release the coin. And you also have this little compartment if you want to store your coins. And that I really love because it keeps your coins safe and you know that you won't it's not easy to lose if you keep the coins in there. It's a Duran changer. And then you get the little um, vase with the tiny little ninja man, which is actually inside the vase. I'll show it to you guys. You get this hammer. So I haven't finished watching Kaku Rangers, so from what I've heard is they use um, this hammer to break open the vase to free ninja man. To open the vase, you just uh, hold it from the top here, and it just easily opens up. This is what the Ninja Man figure looks like. So you can actually attach it into the vase. The little tiny Ninja Man figure. And they even went into trouble of giving a little bit of detail there, which is pretty cool. And I'll show you guys the coins right now. So this is Ninja Red's coin. The only thing I don't really like about these coins, it looks like it's kind of uh, easy to scratch. I just got them these yesterday, and already it looks like they have like, little scratch marks on them. And this is what the back looks like. And these coins, compared to the power coins, are actually very, um, very thin. And more metallic. And more of a metallic finish, I mean. Oops, sorry. Go. This is Ninja Black's coin. So this is the... Uh, and you have the two buttons here. So to open up the little uh, door there, you would hit the second um, button. And to insert the coin, the easiest way I found is to put the bottom first where that tab is, and then press it in. So I'll show you guys the sound feature. There's another one. So that's the second sound feature. 
The first is more of an alert sound. Let me show it to you guys. So the first sound reminds me a lot of Decca Ranger. I might be wrong, but it sounds so much like a siren from Decca Ranger. So those are the two uh, sound features. When you want to close the trap door, or sorry, not trap door, the little tiny door, you just pull it up from this tab here and it clicks in. And when you want to release the coin, you basically pull down on this button here. Let me just show you guys up close. It's a little tricky. The coins don't come out right away. So you kind of have to play around with it. Like, see, even right now, like, there we go. So I'll show you all the different coins in there. So this Ninja White. That's what it looks like. And if you don't press the button hard enough, you're not going to hear the sound feature. Here's Ninja Yellow. Let me actually straighten it out there. Sorry, it kind of went in there, kind of. Um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. Yeah, see, like, sometimes it doesn't come off right away. You kind of have to kind of hit it in your, onto your hand for it to come out. Here's Ninja Blue. Finally, Ninja Black. It's actually a pretty cool change here because um, a lot of the in, like a lot of the unique changes where you can interchange either coins or different little heads or whatever it is gives you the chance to uh, reenact your favorite ranger's uh, cha um, henshin or transformation. So it's really cool. Yeah, see like this button. I mean this coin here. Like, some of them come off really easily, some of them you kind of have to bang onto your hand for it to come off. It's a changer. And finally, I'll show you guys the instructions, what it came with. So, this was the instructions. So they're just simple instructions. Shows you how to play with the toy. So, it, show, it doesn't come with batteries, so you have to um, provide your own batteries. And it shows you how to insert the coin. And even shows on the picture here that uh, you're supposed to turn it upside down at, while pulling the button down and also kind of hitting it. Well, it doesn't show the person banging it onto your hand, but that's exactly what you had to do. And you insert the coin like so. I'll actually show you guys the coins inside the neuron changer. It shows Ninja Man and how to insert him into the vase. It gives, the Doranche is actually very light, so when you insert the coins, it actually gives a little bit more weight to it. As I just insert them like so. And just close it back up. So it does give it a little bit of weight there. And to insert the battery, they used like, um... I like how Bandai America uses screws, but this one uses little tabs. So you'll need a little like little object that you can um, push the button down and then force the battery cover down. I'm not a big fan of um, these little buttons here because you can easily ruin the button by con continuously poking it. So yeah, I'm not a big fan. I prefer the screws. I mean, yes, it's inconvenient to find a screwdriver and unscrew it and yeah, all that, but I prefer that versus, um, like, risking, um, risking ruining this button here. What I use is, I use, like, a little weapon from, like, any figure, and I kind of, like, pierce it. It's a soft plastic, so you're not risking using, like, a metal, like, anything metal to kind of, like, ruin it. 
So yeah, so that's basically it for this one here. And price points, this is actually a lot cheaper than the Die Ranger, um, Kiba, uh, Kiba Changer and the Aura Changer set because you know, you're just getting the one changer there, so I, I guess that's what that is. Um, I would say like just search and wait for like a good deal because that's what I kind of did. All the ones that I came across were like 180 or 170 and I'm quoting Canadian prices. Um, I, I got mine for 160 which for me is like a decent price. I didn't want to spend over, uh, over like $200. Um, I would recommend this if you want to own the changers of the morphers, all of them one day. This this and the Die Ranger changers are a good addition. And I would say get them now because, like I said, it's very unpredictable if in a few years down the road the uh, price will skyrocket. So get them now and they're more affordable. So that's basically my review. And I do apologize if I inserted the um, some of the coins wrong. Um, like upside down or to the side or however like I do apologize for that but yeah so I have more reviews coming up and as always thanks for watching and have a wonderful day and please uh, subscribe or comment if there's if you guys enjoy my videos thank you and have a great day